Okay, the first thing you'll need to do is head over to HostGator.com. And from the home page, find the link that says View Web Hosting Plan. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And from here, you'll see their hatchling plan, their baby plan, and their business plan. Now their hatchling plan is the most basic, and it's if you're just starting out, it's completely fine to start with that. The baby plan is a step up from the hatchling plan. You do a little bit more in terms of domains, and the business plan is a step up from the baby plan. Now if you select compare all hosting plans, you can see all of the details laid out against each other so that you know exactly what you're getting with each plan. So if you wanna check that out, that's fine. For the purposes of this tutorial, we will be selecting the baby plan, but again, if you're just starting out and you want to select the hatchling plan, which is a little bit cheaper, go right ahead. I'm going to show you how to get web hosting for a penny for both the hatchling plan or the baby plan. So either one you'll get for a penny, it doesn't really matter which one you select. So I will select the baby plan, I'll click order now. Okay, so this is the short order form that you're gonna have to fill out for your hosting. Now, first of all, you'll see that they wanna know if you already have a domain name or if you need to register a domain name. And so for this tutorial, I'm gonna select register a new domain as I'm sure many of you will probably, you're probably starting off with nothing. And so that's the way I'm gonna walk through this. And so you're gonna register a new domain, make sure that's selected. And then you're going to enter your domain name. And I'm going to select, or rather enter in just my name to see if it's available. And it is, of course. Um, but if obviously, you would put in the name of your business or your blog or whatever you want your domain name to be. Now, once you find one that gives you the green check mark that says that it is available, they do suggest other variations on that domain name. Totally up to you if you want to select any of these. As general practice, when I buy domain names, generally I will select the .NET form of it, um, sometimes the .org and the .info, but that's totally up to you. For this tutorial, I'm actually just going to leave it on the main .com designation. And then scroll down and as you'll see that we do have the package type selected on the baby plan, which is the mid plan. Now for the billing cycle, they have it automatically on the 36 month cycle. Now I'm going to select the one month cycle. It's up to you how frequently you want to be billed. Take note that if you select the six month or the 12 month, you do get, well mainly the 24 month, 36 month in this case, you get more savings the longer you decide to stick with them. But I wanna keep it simple for this tutorial, so I'm gonna select the one month. And you'll notice that they're giving you 20% off automatically, and I'm gonna talk about that in just a second. Next, select your username and your security pin, so you can go ahead and fill that out with whatever you would like that to be. And then you'll scroll down and enter your billing information, which is pretty standard stuff. And now you'll get to the hosting add-ons. Now take note that automatically they select a number of these for you. I'm going to deselect these right now, and when you get a chance, you can look through them and decide if you would like any of these. The domain privacy protection and site lock are two that I would really look at um, and actually the site backup as well because website backups are super super important um, especially if your website is hacked or if you lose data that stuff really happens it doesn't just happen to other people it happens to everybody so I would consider these top three but for now I'll just leave those deselected and you can actually add those on at a later time if you want okay now let's talk about the 20% We've gotten to the coupon code section and you'll notice that they already have a coupon code entered in there. HostGator automatically or quite frequently suggests the 20% off coupon to anyone who buys their hosting. Um, we're actually going to do better than that for this tutorial though because I'm going to show you how to get hosting for a penny for the first month. Remove their coupon, and by the way, it usually says you've chosen their most valuable coupon. With whatever coupon code you have in there, that pretty much stays there. So we'll delete Snappy, and put in the coupon code UDEMYPENNY. Click Validate. And now we're gonna scroll down here to the bottom. 
and let's review our order as you can see the total right now is twelve ninety six twelve dollars and ninety five cents of that is your domain name registration and you are getting your hosting for one penny so your hosting is going to be one penny and if you need a domain name then it's easier to register that at the same time and you'll get it for $12.95. But if you were coming into this situation and you already had a domain name registered, your bill would be literally one penny. It would be one cent. And also I'd like to point out that they do give you a 45 day money back guarantee. And that's awesome because it really gives you a chance to try out their service and decide if you like it or not. I would like to point out that if you only needed the hatchling plan we're going to scroll back up here to the packages and select hatchling which is a little bit cheaper and then scroll back down to the bottom you still only have to pay a penny you're not able to get it for free because one cent is hostgator's minimum billing amount understandably so you can either select the hatchling plan or the baby plan and you will get that for a penny and just to further demonstrate that you are getting your web hosting for a penny, we're going to scroll back to the top and let's pretend that we already have a domain name. We're going to select I already own this domain name and then scroll back to the bottom and you'll see that the total due is in fact only one penny. So if you already have a domain name, then you only need to spend one cent and that money back guarantee the 45 days that is applicable to the one cent. So, we'll put it back on register a new domain name since I anticipate a majority of you will be needing to register a new domain. And again, look through the hosting add-ons, decide which ones you want, which ones you don't want. Um, I'm going to deselect all of the options right now and make sure you read through their terms and conditions. And when you've done that, you can check the box and then you can select the button create account. If you selected PayPal, then you'll go ahead and take care of that. Now after you've done that, you want to go to your email and check for a new message from HostGator. It will be the same email address that you use to sign up. So let's go ahead and do that. And once you open that email, you'll see that they've already given you everything you need to log in. Now, I want to point out that what you'll need to install WordPress is your control panel. That's the link that we're going to use to log into the control panel system. Their billing system that you'll see here is actually, that's something different. You log into HostGator and install your billing details and whatnot. But what you specifically need, I'll repeat, to install WordPress is your control panel. So that's what we're going to log into in the next video. And you'll see that they also give you your username and the domain um, that you'll be using for your hosting account, as well as a randomly generated password. See you in the next video.